Preston Physics, Grade 11, Kinematics, Note 8, Velocity Time Graphs. A velocity time graph is very similar to what we did with a displacement time graph, but in this case, instead of measuring a distance, we're measuring obviously a velocity. We aren't showing the direction here, but normally you would have a direction associated with a velocity. Our point of reference in this case is going to be zero meters per second, but it could be something else. Normally it is zero. There's a few things we need to notice about this graph. First, our starting point isn't at zero, so this means we're already moving. The second thing we're going to look at is that we're increasing our velocity here, so we have positive acceleration. It means we're speeding up. We then have a flat line. That means our velocity is staying the same over some period of time, so we have a constant speed. We then have a drastic decrease in our velocity, which means we have negative acceleration, or we're slowing down. Now with our reference point being zero, once we get back to that point, we've come to a complete stop. Just like we did with a displacement time graph, we're going to look at some properties for a velocity time graph, mainly the slope, and we're going to focus on the first quadrant. Now when we're talking about the slope, we look at two things, the direction and how steep it is. If the direction is positive, that means we have some acceleration and that we're speeding up. And the acceleration in this case is going to be positive acceleration. If the direction of the slope is negative, that means that we're slowing down or we have a negative acceleration. Notice we always say acceleration. Now the steepness of the graph, if it's very steep, this means that we're slowing down or speeding up very quickly. We have a quick acceleration. Now if it's very shallow, this means that we have an acceleration, but it's very gradual. And the acceleration again can be in the positive or negative direction. Just like we did with the displacement time graph, we're now going to look at the meaning of the slope for a velocity time graph. So we create our graph and we're going to put some line on it and then we're going to find the slope. Now the slope is equal to the rise over run, which is equal to the difference in the y over the difference in the x. The y in this case being velocity, the x being time. Now if we look at the units, just like we did before, we're going to have meters per second over seconds. Now this changes to meters per second squared. Now that unit happens to be the unit for acceleration. So when we find the slope of a velocity time graph, we're actually finding the acceleration of the object in question. Now the last thing we're gonna look at is just a couple extra properties for a velocity time graph that are kind of important for describing the motion of an object. If we have constant slope or a straight line for our velocity time graph, this means we have uniform acceleration. The acceleration is staying the same throughout the motion. So it can be positive or negative. Now, if we have a non-straight line or non-constant slope, meaning like a curved line, this means we have non-uniform acceleration. So the acceleration is changing throughout the motion. Using this new information on velocity time graphs, continue the lab that we were working on yesterday. The questions from your yellow duotang for this section are 24 and 25.